This is now a boat astronomer, Andrew, and Carol. Hi Say hi, Carol. <laughs> We're just down on the boat for a boat trip, a day trip, sorry, um, just to sort out some little jobs. Uh, we currently just sat at the picnic table, which is at the top of where our boat is. I'll show you that in a moment. And um, yeah, we've just been sorting some jobs out. So we've uh, cleaned the chimney. Yep. Got a bit of rust and soot out of that. Mm. Uh, we put up a strip blind mm -hmm. so we can stop the flies that mm. are coming in the, the front well deck. Cleaned out the hoover of all the spiders because it was like a mini <laughs> Jurassic Park in there. It looks <laughs> like it's got its own atmosphere. Is the own little <laughs> ecosystem going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we cleaned that out and uh, we're just having a cup of tea, as I say, at the picnic table just before we, yeah, third one, uh, just before we settle <laughs> in. Uh, I'm just going to check the batteries and that'll be the last job. Um, so we haven't been cruising today. Uh, we could really do with a full day if we're going to cruise um, mm. or. Uh, wait for the government guidelines to stop um, so that we can stop out on the cut overnight and stay overnight on the boat which is something we want to do anyway because we've got some quite large jobs to do in terms of painting and mm -hmm. uh, a couple of jobs to sort out for the boat polishing. safety scheme. Polishing, yeah, mm -hmm. make it look nice. Mm -hmm. um, we're taking some photos while we're here. From a distance she doesn't look too bad but there's uh, <laughs> quite a bit You're of rust to the clear boat up. Or me? <laughs> the boat? <laughs> <laughs> so not a cow, no, definitely the boat. <laughs> That's no rust on you. Oh, so dear. we'll uh, we'll catch up with you later, <laughs> and we'll show you some photos and video that we've taken uh, of the boat in a few moments, and uh, also I'll catch up on some of the astronomy bits as well. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, so here we are logged in uh, to SLU and I just want to uh, check on how we were doing with the Lunar Quest. So I'm just going to Quests from the dashboard. And just waiting a while while updates. Okay, so we'll view Quest. And uh, I have actually been through some of the steps and answered some questions already. Uh, in the quest but uh, what we want to do is look into step one which is where we're collecting the images from and you can see that uh, I've filled a few more in so as we've gone through the month I've managed to capture uh, the various phases uh, the only two I haven't managed to capture uh, are actually the last quarter moon and the waning crescent moon so um, these will wait <laughs> until I think it's around the 13th of June for the last quarter moon and then any time after that I should be able to capture the waning crescent moon. So that's looking good, we'll complete that in the next vlog and then we'll um, sort of show you the finished uh, poster product from that. Uh, what I do want to do while I'm here uh, is actually start off another quest before its season is over and the one I'm looking for is the seasonal quest which will be the sort of spring uh, northern hemisphere and fall uh, for the southern hemisphere here we go so this is a collection quest so we have to collect uh, various uh, objects spring and fall objects so let's go and have a look at that one and just read what that one's about so yeah, so here we're uh, going to collect 12 objects, uh, hopefully, before the season ends. And uh, these uh, celestial gems are visible in the, the northern hemisphere in spring and the southern hemisphere in its fall or autumn, which is actually now. So, uh, okay, let's uh, start that quest. And we're now in progress. So this will sort of keep you updated on in the vlogs as well. And uh, you can see here normally in the first step is the uh, sort of outline of the poster. And we can see which objects we're uh, going to be collecting. And once this is uh, they're captured and put into these boxes, then uh, one of the final things is we can download this poster and print it out or share it on social media. So the Northern Hemisphere objects that we shall collect are the Whirlpool Galaxy, M51, or Messier 51, uh, the Owl Nebula, Messier 97, the Great Hercules Globular Cluster, Messier 13, uh, the Whale ga Galaxy, which has a, a new general catalogue number of 4631, uh, the Black Eye Galaxy, which is Messier 64, and the Hamburger Galaxy, which is, uh, again, new general catalogue uh, 3628. Uh, Southern Hemisphere, the Southern Pinwheel, uh, which is Messier 83. Uh, the Centaurus A Active Galaxy, which is uh, NGC 5128. Uh, Prawn Nebula, which has an index catalogue number of 4628. Uh, Omega Centauri, uh, a large globular star cluster, uh, new general catalogue 5139. Uh, a star, Proxima Centauri, uh, or Alpha Centauri C and uh, the Eta Carina Nebula, uh, which is again, new general catalog uh, object 3372. So uh, we'll keep you updated as we go through that. And uh, yeah, hope to see some very nice uh, pictures from that. Thank you. Okay, in the last vlog, uh, we had a little project where we were going to uh, look at the conjunctions of the moon with the uh, planets as we went through uh, May. And uh, this was the first picture, so this is on the 12th. Uh, most of them, because we had bad weather in the UK, uh, I had to use the slew.com all sky to capture anything of it. Um, but we managed to get this one from the, uh, the front porch, so if I can manage to step this on should be a, a video here from my front porch so there we have the moon and Jupiter and Saturn just like the picture uh, unfortunately you see a few trees and aerials there as well which is just uh, from my lockdown porch my vantage point okay um, 
The next one then, um, the moon had moved round to um, just to the left of Mars and this is the one we wanted to capture and further to the right is also uh, Saturn and Jupiter still as you'll see in the, uh, the all sky image. Now this one uh, is from Chile and there you can see the Milky Way rising, uh, Jupiter and Saturn then Mars and then the Moon, so a very quick one. Uh, I got one from TD also, which is uh, a little bit longer, so it's a bit easier to see. Uh, so here we are at TD, and there's the Milky Way rising. There you see Jupiter and Saturn just coming up on the left. Uh, next will be Mars and then the Moon. So a bit distorted from the picture in Stellarium, but uh, yeah, still obvious. Next, uh, from also from Chile, uh, is there uh, the same sort of picture. So we've got uh, there uh, Jupiter, the, the brightest spot uh, apart from the Moon, uh, Saturn next to it, then Mars, uh, and then of course the Moon, which is really bright. And uh, although the Moon moves farther away, I did capture uh, the same still image on the uh, Chile All Sky for the 17th and 18th. So you'll see basically the same sort of picture but the moon uh, continues its orbit and, and actually moves further uh, to the left as we go through this picture sequence so for the 17th you'll see it jump to the left a little bit there we go so you can definitely see it's orbiting and it's further away uh, from uh, Mars than it was before and then on the uh, 18th it's even further away um, so just a uh, an example of celestial mechanics. If I play that like an animation, you'll see it uh, gradually stepping away as I step forwards and backwards through those frames. The next uh, one I attempted to capture uh, and didn't quite manage it, uh, I did change the camera I used from the porch to a, an ultra wide angle action camera, which didn't really help. <laughs> Um, but you can see I was compromised anyway by the rooftops of the houses. So what I was trying to get was the moon, um, Mercury next to it, and Venus down uh, again. Sorry, Mercury to the right of it. Mercury, uh, sorry, uh, Venus further to the right and down a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get this because of the vantage point I was at from the front porch. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So if I step on to the picture... Uh, now, like I said, the ultra-wide angle didn't really help, <laughs> so uh, the moon is in there somewhere, but uh, the others were obscured, and the moon, uh, if you're wondering, is there. <laughs> I don't blame you if you can't see it, so uh, let's see a zoomed-in view of that. And there it is, so you can just see the crescent moon, and uh, to the right of it uh, was supposedly uh, Mercury, but I think it's uh, blocked by this, or it's just too faint in the uh, twilight. Uh, and Venus was a bit lower uh, down behind that roof line. Uh, also as a project, I was going to try and capture um, Comet Swan, uh, so C2020 F8 Swan. Um, but that was going to be hugging the horizon anyway, so I, I didn't even attempt that because of the uh, horizon around the locked down house. Uh, there, there was absolutely no chance of seeing that. Okay, so they're the results of the uh, conjunction project. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what comes up next. Of course, we've got the slew quests uh, in the next one as well. Uh, and hopefully in the next vlog, I'll be uh, showing you the actual small uh, telescope uh, that I intend to put the camera on. Uh, and I'll go through a little bit about the mount and the telescope for that. See you then. Mm -hmm.